Hi everyone, this is the rest of section 1.5. There's a little bit more than, than just adding. Now the reason we're finding some of these things is because when we subtract we have to find opposites sometimes or the additive inverse. We also have to understand absolute value, but that's when you're using the definition for that they teach you for adding integers. However, I do want you to understand the difference. So an inverse or opposite simply means that same number with the opposite sign, which means it's not the same number, obviously. So the opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. Now in this case, first I would want to evaluate this. This is the absolute value of negative 11. Well, the absolute value of negative 11 is 11. And so the opposite would be negative 11. Remember when we find absolute values we get positive numbers. And we're doing the same thing here. We're finding the additive inverse or opposite and so this has a double negative, this negative 3 uh, or, or the opposite of negative 3 is the way I like to read that. So the opposite of negative 3 is 3 and that's because it has a double negative. So anytime you have a dou double negative on one number, that number is positive, and the opposite of that would be negative 3. I know these are kind of confusing, so you'll have to be careful on how you work with these. Now, on this one, if we simplify it, right, it's going to be the absolute value of negative 3 fourths is 3 fourths, but notice we have a negative on the outside. When it's absolute value, we don't treat it the same way we did on the double negative on the 3 because that had parentheses. So first we evaluate and get that 3 fourths is positive, or the, the absolute value of negative 3 fourths would be a positive 3 fourths, but then this negative on the outside has to stay. So the inverse or the opposite of negative 3 fourths would be positive 3 fourths. And that's the rest of the lesson for section 1-5.